about a couple more hours maybe hour and a half I don't know Dino's been digging currently he's laying over there yeah, it's about the size of the two holes that were in the other. It's about oh, three feet around and every bit of six inches deep. It may be about time for him to go back up in the bullpen. But that means I gotta get that barn clean first. Which needs to get done. Just, you know, gotta have time to do it. No, anyway, there's the start to Friday morning. Last thing I heard is they're saying it's supposed to start dumping late this afternoon, this evening, tonight, something like that. At least it's warmer this morning. It's not 37 degrees. It was 50 degrees. But still a little nip to it. So, you know, it is what it is. And, yeah, hate to keep irrigating, but at the same time, going to have to keep irrigating, but at the same time, now it's going to start raining, so I don't know. They said, uh, tonight, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday and Tuesday, it's not supposed to rain, and Wednesday, Thursday, it's supposed to rain again, so who knows. But then again, every time they say we're going to get rain, it, it's all around us, and we don't get any, so who knows. We'll see what happens. Got two holes out here already. This one's just, you no, know, half the size of the other one. And I can't see him now. Yeah, I can. First cow right there is Amy, and he's just to her left laying down right there, in the middle of the screen. He's going to start pissing me off. Well, it's run since, what, four, yeah, it was just before four o'clock yesterday afternoon. It's almost 8.30 this morning. And it's dry right there. And I'm going to guess if it's going to leak, it's going to be in the area that was dug out. And a little dip over there where the water was collecting before is so damp that I expect that. And that over there is damp because, yeah, it wasn't tight enough, and that's where it was spraying. It was kind of nice, though. Most of them sprayed one direction so I could walk up to it without soaking myself and close them. So, and it's going to be an interesting day to figure out what's going to happen. This is uh, number one, and Grandma are supposed to go pick up tubs. They only got three that aren't the same ones that we use, but they're close enough, and they have no idea when they're going to get tubs. And pick up molasses so we can get some feed made. It'd be nice if they were back soon enough that we could make feed today, because you now it's supposed to rain for the next few days if it actually does. And we're going to make feed on what's in the back of the truck, and I don't need it parked outside getting soaked while we're trying to fill the grinder mixer. So, yeah, fun times. And, of course, both groups of cows are out of hay. The steers are pretty well out of hay. They're shoving their feeder around. It's about 20 feet from where it belongs. First group we ever had that shoved them around so much. I don't know. Oh, well, that's enough flapping my jaws. Things to do, right? For the group, when I came down to shut the pump off, they were all over in here eating. Now half of them are laying over here. I don't know where the other half are. They're around. And the others are laying up underneath the cedar trees, and the boys are laying over there. And... That frickin' turbine again. I don't know if it broke a clip again or what. It slipped in a little. It's not in too far. It's gonna run right there because I'm not gonna pull it out of there till it's done. So it'll make it till tomorrow. <clears throat> and figure what to do to that. Most guys, if 
bypass the turbine and put a gas engine on them, but that's something I really didn't want to do. Because the way it is, you know, if the power goes out, it stops moving. And uh, a bunch of monkey motion to put a gas engine on. I mean, it's that's not that bad to do. They, the, all the new ones are got a little motor on them. Well, anyway, figure out what to do when the time comes. Got to race them down here. <laughs> they think they're hungry. Clean the steer lots out so we could actually feed and get their feeder back where it belonged. And got that done before lunch. And uh, just fed in the feed barn and we we'll throw three bales out here. And let them have something to eat besides not much. And I'm going to hold off till tomorrow to try to water down here. Maybe Mother Nature will do it. And that'll help. I don't know. Got three instead of eight. This closer one, according to number one, is the dry cow tubs we usually use that are higher protein. The other two are similar but different. They're lower protein. But according to what my mother told me when she talked to the man, he said they had two that were one and one that was a different thing. None of them were the same as what we usually use. And incidentally, these are the last three tubs they had in inventory period. They were supposed to have gotten a shipment in last Thursday. But like everybody else, they can't find truck drivers. So this is what we got for now. So we're going to put... If this closer one's actually higher protein, I drilled holes in the edge so we can tie it to a post. It's going to go to the younger ones in the bottom, and the other two will go over at the feed barn. But number one snuck in the house for a minute, so I'm waiting for her because I'm not going to get on and off the loader to slip these things off. I'm not even going to get off to finish getting that wrap off. And that wrap goes in the garbage can right inside the machine shed right here anyway, so... And the wind is a-blowing. Been blowing since about, I don't know, 10 o'clock. It started getting more serious. Comes and goes. Um, Ron texted me earlier. Said he's going to be out tomorrow. Hopefully we're going to get something done on that 4010. That's my plan. So today I want to get that tractor moved over there. And uh, get the cherry picker inside. Hopefully, we can get it where we need it. And that'll make tomorrow a lot nicer. So, that's the plan anyway. As you all know, plans can change in five minutes and never happen again. Got a bunch of crap cleaned up in here. Head gaskets underneath that big chunk of cardboard. At least I hope it's still there. I uh, weaseled the skid steer in and Slid the front end of the tractor over so we got a little more room right here. I don't know if it's enough yet or not. And we can move the brooms and get this thing back there and hopefully get the cart in. And get the head hanging on there in the morning. Of course, I want to make sure and wipe everything down. Blow everything off again. I already blew all this crap off. Best as it's going to get get it hanging and I think we're gonna wipe the bottom down and let her dry I don't know what else to do I wish this all would have been done before but hey you know then I suppose get the head on and get the rods in and get the rocker arm assembly on and then we will uh Take the bar to it and turn it over and get her to where we know we're top dead center on number one and get the fuel pumped in, that kind of stuff. And I still need to, I guess I'll make something in the morning. Something to go in the injector holes, make sure that our deck height is okay. Because that was one of the things that was in the destructions with the kit. But on the other hand, the pistons 
with the same piston. It's a 4020 kit and a 4010 block. Same, same bullshit. So it should be good. I really wanted to get a bunch of this crap out of here so we can get to that easier, but yeah, number one, needed to go take my alternator back since I didn't get that done this morning. I got things straightened out on the phone. Dog out. Hopefully all the dogs are outside, looks like it, because I'm shutting the door. And, uh... Of course, she always has to leave early anyway. I don't know. Says she'll be here early in the morning, but then she said there was an accident over near Napa, so who knows? And we'll see what the weather really does. Wind's still blowing, not as bad as it was earlier. It actually was dead calm for about a half an hour. But the sky don't look any different now than it did earlier. Last thing I heard, they're saying 9 o'clock tonight it's supposed to start raining. Like I said, we'll see. Bright rain everywhere but right here. But that's okay because we got cows fed before it got wet out there. And uh, I'm hoping my traveler's still coming in. Kind of wandering that way so I can see and make sure. But it is what it is. Work that thing there for now, just to get it out of the way from in front of the shop. Still trying to think how to fix that. I'm just about to the point of drop the basket half off and take the end off and slide the thing out because the, end, the tube through the middle of that has a kind of a half kink in it. It's not a good thing. And say so we can't raise it anymore, so. Try to do something different with that. Just one more thing. Be nice to have a big enough shop that I could go in the corner of it and sit there and dink with it when I had a chance. Kind of like the versatile. It'd be great if it was in the corner of the shop where I could dink with it when I had a chance. But, yeah, you know. So, yeah, you know, now you got a long enough video to watch. Couple of cows up here eating on some hay, one just walking down the lane ahead of me down there. One down there across the bridge going back out. Yellow jacket buzzing my ear. They've been kind of sticky the last couple days. Becky got stung yesterday. And yeah, I go out and make sure that thing is moving. It ain't moved much. One ring, I got cut off, but yeah, I was done anyway. I'm just out here racing these cows to the bottom of the hill. She was going to get there first. And of course, Boomer looks over her shoulder like, what's up, man? And I don't think the traveler's moved, so. That's why I'm out here. Uh-oh. Yeah, starter on this thing started screwing up, too. So I got to tap it so it'll work. So, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll uh, see what we can film tomorrow. Hopefully get the head on and some other stuff on that tractor.